iOS 18 has been out for a week and with its release there are hundreds of new features. But these five features are probably the ones that you don't hear a lot about. So that is what we are going to go over in today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. Our first hidden feature is in Safari and we can remove items that we feel that are distracting in terms of the website we are currently viewing. In order to do this, you want to tap on this button here and then you want to tap on hide distracting items. And now on this screen, we can tap on whatever we feel like is distracting us. We can tap on the image, for example, and we tap on hide, and we just Thanos snap that image out of the article. Once you are done, you can tap on done and you can continue to read the article without having the image and this is also good for websites that have a lot of ads. So you can definitely remove some of the ads if you feel like they are very distracting. This next hidden feature applies to the home screen. With iOS 18, Apple has introduced a lot of features to make your home screen much more personal. But one of the hidden features is the ability to make your app icon into a widget. In order to turn your app icon into a widget, you want to long press on the app icon, and then right at the middle, you will see several different images. And you can see that these are all of the three different widget sizes. We'll select the second one, and now our app has digitally turned into a widget. Unfortunately, there is no way to revert a widget back into an app and this is something Apple could hopefully address in iOS 18.1 or a future release. Control Center also got a ton of updates in iOS 18 and one of those is having the option to turn off your phone via Control Center. When you open Control Center, on the top right, you will see the power button. And once you tap on the power button, then you will go through the process of turning off your phone. This is very useful in the event that perhaps maybe one of your buttons are damaged, or if you need a quick way to reset your iPhone. The new Passwords app also has a feature where you can share your Wi-Fi network via a QR code and this is going to be very helpful in case you have some Android friends and they want to use your Wi-Fi network. You want to tap on Wi-Fi, tap on the connected network and then you want to tap on show network QR code. Once you tap on that the QR code will show and your friend will just need to scan the QR code and they would be connected to your Wi-Fi network. This last feature is pretty useful and it is having the option to pause your video while recording. So while you are recording, you will see a pause icon here and you can just tap on that and then you will see the pause status. In order to resume filming, then you just need to press on the red circle and you can resume filming. And this is pretty neat because it's not restricted to any of the newer iPhones. This is an iPhone 11 and I was able to record and pause the video. When you play back the video, you will notice that there is a jump cut between the point you pause and we started the recording. And that is it. Those are five hidden features in iOS 18 that you may not know. Were you able to learn something new about iOS 18? Have you actually upgraded to iOS 18? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for all of the wonderful support I've gotten over the past 
week with the videos and the new subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.